welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a tutorial so this tutorial is very different from what I'm usually used to I usually do dark colors or neutrals but this is blue and I never really done blue before but I gave it a try and I'm anyways guys so if you guys want to see how I got this look then keep on watching okay guys so basically I'm going to be taking my color pop concealer and just applying that all over my lids as my primer i really don't like eyeshadow primer so this is my take on an eyeshadow primer i guess you can say so i really just like blending it out and the brush that i'm using is a kevin o'quan brush i am then gonna go in with the jaclyn hill palette and go into that teal green blue color and really kind of just put that all over my lid and all over my crease now when i was doing this i was kind of scared because this is kind of like one of my first besides like my pink red look that i did this is one of my first um color eyeshadow looks and it was scaring me i'm not gonna go in with my take me back to brazil palette and go into that dark blue just to darken up the crease a bit because i did put the teal blue green color all over my lid and I'm just doing that all over. Now I'm going to be going back into my concealer and I'm going to be cutting the crease. Oh yeah. And this is where it kind of turned into like the green color because of the concealer kind of changed the base of it. Which is completely okay because I did end up liking this look. So I'm just taking one of my Amazon brushes and spreading it out into my crease, guys. It looks a little crazy, but I promise you, I will fix it and you will love it. As always, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just doing that. I never really used to do this technique, but I find myself doing this technique more now. Um, just because I like it. It's so weird. I'm going back into the dark color in the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and just going in and just blending out those harsh lines from the concealer and making it perf. And now I'm going to go back into my Take Me Back to Brazil. I'm going back to Brazil. Back to Brazil. Okay. I'm going to go back and go in with that white shimmer color and put it on my lid to set my concealer. Because, you know, we always got to set. Always got to set. Always got to always, always gotta set. And I'm just continuing that process. I know it's a little messy, but I do fix it. I promise you, I'll fix it. A little messy, but I fix it. Now I'm just going to go in back with that same white shimmer color, and I put it in the brow bone. Now I went back into my concealer. This is one of my, like, kind of like, it's my favorite concealer, but I don't use it all the time. Um, and with this concealer, I'm just going to be cleaning up the edges. So here, I use this foundation that I'm going to talk about in the next clip. And I just wanted to show you guys some photos of what it looks like. Honestly, it was very, like, oily. You can see that it didn't cover everything. You can see all of the, my pores, all of the little bumps, and it was just not for me. All right, guys, so that was the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any suggestions for the next color I should do, then let me know down below in the comments. Um, the foundation that I used today, although I didn't show it, I used this Josie Morant color, like, foundation book and her Argan Oil Foundation. And let me tell you, first of all, I don't know if you can see, this is not my color. I had to mix it with, I mixed this color, which is the Juicy, and I had to mix it with, was it Magical? Yeah, I had to mix it with this magical one um, just because they didn't have my shade. The color shades are right here on the top. And I'm pretty sure like these are not all, yeah, these are not all of her shades, but these are her shades on top. And the ones that I was given as a sample were not all of her shades. Um, I think my color, I would have to say, would be adventurous, but they didn't have it, so I had to compromise. Let me say this to you. If you have oily skin, this is not the foundation for you. This foundation is very oil-based. The minute you put on, it's like water. So you kind of have to like really, really blend it out. It's not something that if you put it on, you dab it a little bit, it's already blended out. It's not like that at all. It requires a lot of work, honestly. Um, 
but I just don't recommend it for someone who has oily skin. If you have dry skin and you want that dewy look, then this is definitely the foundation. Okay, guys, so yeah, basically, the, found the foundation is for people with dry skin. If you want that dewy finish, then this is definitely the foundation for you. Another thing about this foundation, the foundation stinks. The foundation stinks. Like, I feel my face right now. I don't know if it's the lights or what, but my face is sweating. Like, I'm like, like, it's just, I will never use this palette again. And I was kind of mad at myself because I do have some people that I like to do makeup on and have fairly dry skin and this foundation would be perfect for them. But I basically wasted all of the shades trying to make my own. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Living in Beauty XOXO, and my Snapchat is Living in Beauty X. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Um, scratch it off. Okay, see right here, I have like a sweat, like little puddle on my Cupid's bow because <laughs> it's like. It's just like this. XO. I forgot my own name. That's not even my name. Okay. And. <laughs> Oops, I dropped it. Oops. I <laughs> okay. So, ah! I'm dropping it!